we finally learn the identity of this hologram and why it plays such an important part to Halo Infinite. You want to know more? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So 15 years later, we're finally understanding what this hologram is all about. Before I thought it was just kind of some cool looking forerunner stuff. Turns out it actually has an important character tied to the future of Halo Infinite. That character being Offensive Bias. Yes, it has been officially confirmed that this hologram on Epitaph is Offensive Bias. This was recently revealed by someone who took a picture of the Halo Encyclopedia book that's gonna be coming out here very soon for everyone to come check out. So I wanted to read the excerpt about Offensive Bias and why it plays such an important part to the future of Halo Infinite. Because you guys don't remember that Offensive Bias was mentioned at the end cutscene of Halo Infinite. So we're probably gonna see him come around very soon. And it seemed like there were multiple times where it looked like through a lot of concept art that Offensive Bias was gonna originally take part in the original campaign of Halo Infinite, but then seems to be cut for time. This section of the encyclopedia reads as, Following Mendicant Bias's betrayal during the war with the Flood, the Forerunners activated a meta arc level Ancilla called Offensive Bias, charging it with the seemingly impossible task of slowing down Mendicant's hostile advance. Offensive Bias lacked Mendicant's creative range, but was more methodically lethal and precise. In a climactic naval battle, Offensive Bias both outsmarted and defeated the treasonous opponent with deft tactical brilliance, cunning relying on the knowledge that the Halo Effect would soon eliminate the bulk of Mendicant's flood-controlled fleet. Following the battle, Offensive Bias broke the defeated Ancilla into its component mines and and secure them for judgment by the ISO didact. Offensive Bias would guard Mendicant's burial site on the Ark in the days to come, but it would not be the last time he would be called to intercede and stand watch over a grave threat to the galaxy. Where the map Epitaph takes place on the Ark and its actual dev name when it comes to the game files is known as Salvation, which is quite interesting. On Halopedia, which is a great place to learn anything you want to know about Halo, it says Epitaph has been theorized as a memorial or grave for the Forerunner AI Mendicant Bias. This basically has officially confirmed that it actually is the gravesite of Mendicant Bias. Continuing on saying that the map's hologram bears a shape resembling a monitor in the middle of the four prongs on the map, which some people interpreted that being Mendicant Bias, but now we know for sure that this is Offensive Bias. And this hologram is Offensive Bias basically representing him being part of Epitaph, which is looking over the gravesite of Mendicant Bias to make sure he doesn't break out or do anything crazy. Though now that we know that in Halo Infinite they're going to be calling upon Offensive Bias to hopefully stop the Endless, could this mean that Mendicant Bias is left unsupervised, which could potentially break him out? I mean, that's complete fan theory on my end right there, but I think that would make sense. It will also be interesting to see how 343 tends to model their Ancilla, so especially for Offensive Bias, which again, we brought up previously that there were, seemed to be concept art of Offensive Bias being put into the game and then eventually seemed to be cut for time. Especially this bit of concept art, which has the three red dots as like its eyes, right? But there, it matches up perfectly with a cut scene from the 2020 trailer, which looks exactly where you would probably find like an Ancilla like Offensive Bias. But let me know in the comments how do you think Offensive Bias is going to play out in the future storytelling of Halo. If you're new to the channel and missing any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right now. I got a link to all my good Halo videos right there for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you all in the next one. Peace out.